Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I just want to celebrate. <laughs> I want to celebrate this season, this time of life, and this time of our year. And I know so many of us are running around doing our shopping, last minute shopping and holiday preparation. For so many, it is a joyous time. And for so many, it is time for closure. And closure comes in many ways. Closure comes when our loved ones depart. Closure comes when we close a deal and celebrate. So closure is also a time for you to reflect within and think about all the things that has already occurred in your life. Every experience and every people, everyone that you have met. So in a way you are doing a closure of coming and centering yourself, especially today. Today is December 21, 2021. So it's 12, 21, 21. Isn't that beautiful? I know I talk about numbers all the time. And yet I want you to know today is also winter solace. So winter and summer, uh, the moon and the sun, the earth, everything comes to harmony and balance today. So today is everything coming to a fruition of finding your balance you know everything has the good the bad the right the wrong the black the white right so today is just this it's a day of celebration and gratefulness so on top of everything talk about alignment i want to celebrate so because Today is my 221st, <laughs> and you can't, you can't make this happen, 221 episode of Heal Talk slash Real Talk with Lisa. Um, so I've been coming live for over four and a half years every week on Facebook, and today is 221. Uh, episode so it is a celebration I truly want to celebrate not only that I have connected with you that you and some of you who have been with me for many years and showed up and been one of my cheerleaders and everything to say thank you that's closure that's called gratefulness. That's called being in harmony and in balance um, and finding peace within. You know, I have this uh, bracelet of mine. That's fine. Uh, so many have asked me. So, you know, my number is three. I have three charms in here. One is the charm of a heart. And um, the other one is charm that it's a cycle it's like a um a tibetan cycle a cycle of life and the other one this beautiful charm i like to call it it is a a, a charm of a woman standing up and to me i've called her maya and all my necklaces that are like this with my three charms that i've always put on I call them Maya. Maya is a special word for me. It is so ancient, so endearing, and it is a word of power. And you know what? I haven't looked up on Google to see what exactly it is. But so that's it. And this necklace, I had someone ask me the other day, what is it that I always have on me? Well, it's a small little charm. And it's called Heal Within. Just like my bracelet that I have, which is in my shop, and you may purchase one and have it. 
on your wrist at all times as a reminder. It's I evoke, embrace, evolve, and when you flip it over, it always reminds me because I matter. So if you want this uh, bracelet, I have it in black with gold, I have it black with silver, and I have a purple, uh, the string is purple with gold. In a way, it's always with me because I like to walk the talk. And you within is part of who I am as a reminder that when I am upset, when I get uh, angry at something that it's outside of me to remember that the balance and harmony is within me. Healing is within me. And so, just like the name of my business, Heal Within, as a reminder. Also, as a reminder, you know how if you wake up in the morning and your teeth have been clenched, just become so aware that you can just relax the jaw muscles. And then if you wake up with thoughts from yesterday or thoughts uh, of I have to do this or the things that happened yesterday, I want you to think of this. If there is any thought of the to-do list that has not been accomplished yet, if there is any resentment, anger, uh, upset, or dreams that you want to think about, it is about the past. And as long as it's about the past and your experiences, then in a way you are living in the past, not present. So our thoughts, in a way, govern and create, they create where you want to be. And if your thoughts about are about the past, about the things that happened, then you are still living in the past, then it's not creating. In a way, it governs here. And if you do a checkpoint, a balance and harmony within yourself, and if there's any aches and pains and discomfort, dis-ease, remember then your body is governing and if you can just pinpoint it and become more aware and do your breath work and release, release all that there is. Even say to yourself, I evoke what was. That means I recall everything. But I br embrace the reality, the here and now, and I breathe through this. I breathe and become present so that I can evolve and by letting go, release it. Release and let it go. And create this harmony within you that every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, every shape, every color that comes into your mind, you can embrace it, release it. If there is any pain, acknowledge it, release it. There are so many times that we dwell in the past. Feeling remorse, resentment, guilt, shame, all the he said and she said. And we mull over it. Oh, going back and forth, back and forth. And realize that the person or the people that you believe have impacted you negatively have absolutely no idea that you are feeling this way at that very moment. They may have known when it happened, but not at this very moment. 
So what you are doing is bringing on everything and still going over and over, over and over, over and over. And your mind becomes busy with what was and you live with all this negativity in the what is and you wonder why there is no harmony no joy so in a way hello Slon happy holidays glad I was able to catch you live on board with celebrity spirit mm. hello Sloan how are you send my link or I phone I will I will I will let's connect and I will read and do whatever it is that you're asking so let us share let us collaborate thank you for being here my dearest and every one of you since it is the end of the year when we think about releasing and letting go of all the things that are no longer necessary worthy or good for you think about it write it and every time every time you feel a sense of your heart is broken or it's crunching especially those who have lost a loved one you miss them it's hard it's heartbreaking and yet their spirit is free and living and light for there is no darkness up there we hold the darkness inside us because of wanting them back so what better way just like my post the other day, just turn the corner and be with light. Because you are light. They are light. And when you feel that heaviness and darkness and everything, truly center yourself and release, let it go. I am offering a workshop and it was supposed to be done in December and due to some unfortunate circumstances we delayed it and isn't this better it this is what I'm calling talking about harmony and balance and time for closure for start and everything on the new year January 9th 2022 the day of the ninth day ninth which is the day of birthing January the time of beginning and I'm not saying we start and then we're gonna stop but on the ninth day I'm going to doing this work workshop and it's breaking free of all uh, limiting beliefs habits and behaviors that it's no longer necessary for us to hold on to it's recognizing that so many of us think that we're in a cage we can't get out and yet the keys in our pocket the permission can be given by us and everything in our life either you stay where you are or you free yourself from it there is consequences all my clients who come to me for hypnotherapy is tapping into our subconscious to truly understand what is holding us back or what is the benefit of what we are holding on to simple what is holding us back or what is it that we are holding on to because no matter what we hold on to staying in that golden cage having that habit holding on to a negative habit or not moving forward not stepping up to be the success because the biggest fear so many have is fear of success not so much of failure because when we feel oh, i can't succeed we feel failure so there is no fear of failure because 
So many are feeling as if I'm already there. So it's the fear of success. Does that mean, does that make sense? It's the fear of success because if I become successful, who am I stepping over? Who, uh, who else is going to be in the shadow? And, or the thought is, I don't want to, uh, for them to think my ego is big, or I'm afraid that I am becoming too big for myself. I am not worthy. I am not good enough. So all these, guess what? Again, what are they? Thoughts, ideas, concepts, images created by you for you, not others, yours, to keep you where you are. So if there is anything that you are ready to say, I am opening myself, I am allowing more goodness to come about. I am stepping up my own game because I am deserving. I no longer want to feel. I no longer want to feel. So many are successful and yet feel that they're not. So many do, 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 and yet still feel I haven't done much. So if you would like, or if you know someone that is ready to step up, shine for themselves and realize that shifting the word fear to being with faith, magic can happen. And through my techniques, I can help you recognize the magic within you. It's all in you. You have the key. I just help you tap within for you to recognize yours, to shift it, to modify it, to edit it, to let go. Yes, it is time for you to show up, stand up, speak up. Not because you are overshadowing anyone, but because you deserve to shine. Yes. You know, did you know that the hardest thing to do for so many is to stand in front of a mirror and say, I love you. That's right. It's like so foreign. So why not do this exercise? And those who do it all the time, they're not vain. Maybe it's odd to you. Maybe they overdo. But no matter what, sometimes we look at others and we wish and we envy, not realizing that we too can be. If it is health, you can be healthier. If it is wealth, you can be wealthier. If it is a loving relationship, you can be more loving because you are lovable. And love attracts someone who is confident inside and open and loving and warm for themselves first. It's like magic. So, today, finding the balance, that energy, the vortex of uh, having this winter solaces and recognizing, you know, the things that you have within you. And I want to talk about something is, I call it step through the door and embrace the opportunity. The opportunities that as we call this 
winter solid, uh, solace and manifesting. There was a ritual. And I read it, this colleague of mine, this beautiful colleague of mine, um, who is a hypnotherapist, Zoilita Grant, and she wrote this. And I want you to perhaps do this gratitude and uh, clearing this ritual. First, get clear about what you want. Write it down and say it out loud. And begin with each gratitude so that you can choose the things you want to remove and to raise your vibration by running energy focus on your feet and imagine that there are three openings like the old fashioned camera lens where the roots from run from it each foot and the way to the center of the ball of your feet and it comes all the way down and you can release it and just ground yourself with mother earth and then focus on the crown chakra and connect yourself to your highest which is your highest spirit to the white to the clouds to the universe to god to light to sun so mother earth father son and i've shared this many times and then create this po positive feeling think about something or someone that is so endearing to you that when you think about it it gives you a smile a genuine comfort love think about that and just feel it in your heart in your chest it can be a child it can be a loving memory it can be intimacy mine is my dog when I think about the fluffiness, when I hug and the way he looks at me. So keep that powerful image in your mind and then create the affirmation words that you want to hone in and ground yourself with. And then breathe deeply and acknowledge your coexistence with everyone that you have experienced and lived with, either temporarily or living with now. And by doing so, you can then choose the words, I now release your energy, or I welcome more of your energy. Whichever it is that you are ready to do. Today is the day we find that balance, that pure energy of grace, light, wisdom, synergy, harmony, and love. So, there are so many that truly look up to you that you may not realize that you have accomplished so much and you haven't given yourself enough credit that you have touched so many people's lives and you underestimate your connection what you have given not everything comes in a Tiffany box because some of us have forgotten to polish our own golden nugget and not everything is supposed to be wrapped, but to be genuinely raw. So I welcome you to a time of closure, to a time for you to say, I am ready to stand up, to show up, 
to speak up because I do matter. Next year, there's so much coming and I will be bringing more value to you. But for now, let us celebrate this holy time, holy for all of us. For so many, it will be Kwanzaa or Holy Spirit, Hanukkah, Christmas time. And no matter what it is that you are celebrating, celebrate you. Celebrate where you come from and who you are. We all have the good, the bad, the good habits, the bad habits, the behaviors that are genuinely absolutely amazing and behaviors that so many may not truly like. And as always, remember, you don't have to like everything about someone, even when you love them. And those who we love, you don't have to accept every behavior either. So gratitude, I am grateful to you all for being here, Sloan, and so many who have been with me week after week, and those of you who have subscribed, oh, that's right, go ahead and subscribe, and you can go to my YouTube, you can view all the 220 episodes on YouTube, and please subscribe please share because come next year it will be grander it will be bigger i'm going to bring you interviews that it's going to be informative it is going to challenge you it's going to enhance your life in many aspects physically mentally emotionally you know what and it's going to be a lot more raw talk. And when I mean raw talk, it's, uh, that means you may not agree with it, but it's okay. It's okay to hear a different perspective and realize not everything, not everything is going to be our way. But some people live and exist in a different way and it's still existence and living which reminds me isn't it better for us to start living instead of just existing yes 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 so say yes to you and say it twice yes yes and remember one yes is to you one yes is to the angels to the universe to god to energy to whatever so that whatever it is that you want to happen to come to fruition it it hears it and brings it to you it will come and when it does be open be ready that is what i gift to you and as always you can always text 818-221-2797 and get my gift, Relax. Text Relax to 818-221-2797 and get my audio recording, the Relax and Unwind, as my gift to you so you can relax and unwind during the holidays. No matter if you were stuck in the traffic, you know what? Sing. Sing talk get on the phone share and make sure you're on the microphone not holding the phone right be aware of everyone else maybe even wave hello to them give a smile if they cut in front of you allow them to go literally let them cut and go by all means go wherever you want to ah I want you to be safe. Let them go. 
let it go, let it go, right? <laughs> so if they cut in front of you, let them go, let them be free to travel. And if you are standing in line, that's it. You chose to be where you are, knowing that there's going to be lines. Be one of them. So say happy holidays to someone else. Be aware of your surroundings and be safe, especially nowadays. I want you to be aware so that you can be safe. Be aware of your surroundings and also ground yourself and be safe no matter where you are and lastly be present instead of getting upset just be present swallow your saliva breathe through it and say thank you Thank you because you chose to be where you are. No matter what the circumstances. You chose to be where you are. It is a choice. Because the consequences. Is also something we must accept. So there's times that we hold on to something that has consequences and letting go and stepping up has consequences and remember that one which one is hurting you more and which one is going to be better for you choose the one that is going to be better and make you happier and with that thank you again for spending 2021 with me on Heal Talk Tuesday. And I will see you maybe with a glass of champagne so we can celebrate the end of the year. Cheers, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and every other celebration that you are doing. And until next week, I bless you and may God's and the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.